let me show you something amazing. I'm going to click here on add new, create site, magic login. Just like that, I was able to set up a brand new WordPress website. If you don't believe me, let's take a look at the front end of the site. So if I click here on visit site, we can see here that this is a brand new WordPress website. Now, why is this so exciting for me? Well, I can now create my tutorials even way faster. But not only is this good for WordPress content creators, it's good for freelancers, developers, and so on. So let's dive in and take a look and see the other features that InstaWP has. Now, one of the things that is really repetitive every time I create a brand new website is creating dummy content. Now, let me show you what I mean. If I come over here to configurations, I can actually set up my system here so that it sets up my website with the dummy content. Now, let me show you how this works. If I come over here to Faker and activate it, you notice that I've set it here to six posts, one page, tags, and so on. So once I say save, if we now come over here to our site, when I come over here to post now, you're going to notice that I have the dummy post created for me. So this now has saved me a lot of time. Now, if you don't want this feature, you can always deactivate it here and click on save. Now, there are also other configurations here. So if I click here on WordPress and scroll all the way down here, I can also set my pre-installed plugins and also my pre-installed themes by adding the link to the theme or the plugin in the WordPress repository. Now, let's take a look here at your PHP. So over here, you can actually set up your memory limit. Sometimes when you're running a website, it won't perform because you have to increase the memory. So you can just come over here and um, adjust it here. Next over here on the, the general. Now this is a very important tab because let's say you want to test out WordPress with the latest cutting edge version. You can just click over here and go over here to the beta and then start playing around with it. And then over here on the PHP version as well, if you have a feature or you're working on something that needs to uh, test on the latest PHP version, you can always come over here and set your PHP version. So as you can see, this is a very, very, very powerful system. Now, the other thing that I also do repetitively is when I install a brand new version of WordPress, I install three plugins. I install Fluent CRM, Fluent Forms, and Anti-Spam B. And I also install Divi as my page builder. So every time I set up a website, you can see how this can be very, very repetitive and a time waster. So the feature here that uh, InstaWP has is really fantastic because I can come over here to templates. So you can see here, I've created mine called Divi Theme, but let's say I want to set up a quick Divi website. I can just come over here, click on this plus button, create site. And just like that, this now is creating my site, but this time it's going to take a bit of time because it's installing the four plugins and it's also installing the DV theme. Now I went further and created the homepage and adjusted the permalinks as well, because these are the sort of things that I go in and uh, tweak before I start working on my website. So now that my template has been loaded, I can now come over here to my sites click on this link here and now you're going to see that we're going to have a default uh, Divi install and it also has my home page over here. But let me show you how you can create these templates. So if I come over here and create a new site or I can use the existing one that I've just created here. Let's head over here to our plugins. I'm going to add new. So let's say my first plugin is going to be Fluent Forms. I'm going to install that, activate. Next, I'm going to install my theme. So I'm going to click here on themes, add new. And the theme I want is the Astra theme. I'm going to click install, activate. And let's say this is a uh, an Elementor website. I'm going to come over here to my plugins, click on add new, search for Elementor, install, and then activate. So let's say these are the basic things that I need before I start developing an Elementor website. So what I can do now is I will come back over here to my dashboard. And this is the one I was working on, by the way. I can click here now on this little icon here, like that, give it a name. So I'm just gonna call this Elemento and Astra. I can give this a description if I wanted to. I can also share this if I wanted to, but I'm just gonna keep things very simple here. Click on save, and now I have my template here. So the next thing I could also do, I could also give this a tag. Let's create a brand new one. So I'm gonna call this Elemento and Astra. I'm gonna hit enter, and now I have my tag. So when you create these sites, they have a specific time they expire. So you might be thinking, well, 
that's not a good feature. But in my opinion, this is fantastic because you're going to be spinning off a lot of uh, different types of websites here. So some of them, they're probably going to be one-offs. So you want them to expire. But if you have those sites where you don't want them to expire, they really thought about this at InstaWP. You have this single button here, which when you click, it reserves the site. So if I click here on confirm, pretty much this now will not expire. Now, another area that can be very frustrating is the passwords, logging into your WordPress website and remembering all these long passwords. So they have auto login. So if I come over here and hover over this icon here, if I click on auto login, you notice that it takes me straight into my website. And I really love this because I don't have to save my password somewhere else, copy, paste it just to log into my site. Nope, I don't have to do that. So now I can start working on my website. So as you can see, it has pretty much uh, all the items that we installed. I have my Astra theme here. So let's continue on and take a look at the other features. Now, at any point, I can also go in and manually delete any of these sites. So let's say I want to get rid of this one right here. I can just click on these three little dots, scroll all the way down and then click on delete. And then I just need to copy the name of the site here, paste it, and then I can just go ahead and delete it. But of course, if you're going to be deleting these one by one, that can take you a very long time. So what you want to do if you want to do this in bulk is to click here and then you can just select uh, whatever site or uncheck the ones that you don't want to delete. And once you've done that, you can just click here on bulk actions, click on delete, and then it will delete all these in bulk, which I think is a very, very good feature. So let's say you're a freelance designer and you're designing a site for your client. You can easily come over here and share this link. So let's say I click here, I would copy this URL here, send it to my client. And if I need to uh, give them access to the actual website, I would now hover over here, click on these three little dots and then click on view creds. So here is where you'd copy the username copy the password, and then you can send it over. And this is how they'll be able to log into the website. So as you can see, this is very, very powerful. This is a live site. So let's say you've worked in your website, your client is happy, but now you want to host it. This is what you need to do. You'd come over here, click on migrate. And now you have all these different options here to host your website. But if your favorite hosting company is not here, you can always come over here to other hosts. So in situations where you want to uh, integrate other services with your website that you're working on, this is where you can click here on integrations, click on add new. Now at the moment they have MailChimp, but I'm sure this list of integrations is going to grow. So each site that you're going to be working on has its own advanced features. So if I come over here and uh, click on these three little dots, so this is all specific to this single domain over here. So I can export this website uh, as uh, local WP. I also have other tools here. I can protect the site. I can go to the database editor. I can view logs. So as you can see, these are really advanced features. Now, if I want to log into this website via SSH, I can also do it by coming over here. I can clone this website. And as I mentioned before, I can also delete it. So there are so many tools here that uh, if I were to go into every single one of them, this video is going to be really, really long. But in a nutshell, this pretty much covers everything that you're going to need as a WordPress developer, freelance designer, content creator just like me. So you can test so many things here with different versions of WordPress, different versions of PHP, and you can also go in and do some debugging. So this is really, really amazing. So if I click here on the top, you can see now this is my subscription here. I have eight out of 25 sites. It also shows me my disk storage, the templates, and so on. But this is going to depend mainly on the plan that you choose. So if I come over here now to pricing, they have a free plan here, but this only has three active sites and one gig of space. So you can literally go ahead and get started right now to use this service. And then it goes over here to the personal, but this one here now uh, increases your site. So you have 10 sites, 10 gig of space, five templates, and so on. So as you go higher and higher, you always, you start getting the extra features. Like for example, over here, you have your temporary sites uh, up to 15. 
up to 15 days and you also have permanent sites as well and with this option you also have ssh access so if that's important to you of course you want to go with this uh, plan here which is 29 dollars a month and if you're a super developer this is where you'd come over here and go with a 79 per month and this is for agencies so there's also an option here to go for yearly and this here will save you two months in the year that you subscribe, which is uh, also really, really good. So if you want to see a complete breakdown of all the features between the plans, just scroll further down on the page here and then you can see what is grayed out and what is not grayed out. Guys, I can tell you right now that I am actually using InstaWP for creating all these tutorials and setting up different uh, environments, testing tools, testing plugins, and so on. And this has made my job really, really easy. So I highly recommend this if you're a freelance designer, developer, or a content creator. This is going to save you a lot of time and you can access your website pretty much from anywhere. I'll leave a link to that in the video description below. Until next time, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.